Hi everyone, this is Billy. A while ago, I created a 3D printer chassis for my crystal radio. This radio allows you to listen to both AM and FM radios without battery. That's why we call it a crystal radio. I will be sharing with you this project, how I design it, build it, and test it in three different parts. Part one will be about how I design the 3D models for the chassis. If you like my video, it will be good to support me by clicking like, subscribe, share with your friends, and leave a comment. That will help my creation work a lot. I have been using Autodesk Fusion 360 to design my 3D design for the chassis. So I started from sketching the front of the radio, and then building the body, during the holes for the detectors, audio jacks, and the terminals, and then putting in the scaler for the uh, tuner, and also putting on the text for the labels. It's easier to carry the radio around using a handle, so I put in a handle at the top. I designed the knobs to have two needles, so we can easily see where it is tuned to. For the scale, I interlace it with long and short lines to indicate different part of the frequency range. At the back of it, we have on the left the AM variable capacitor hose and on the right the FM variable capacitor hose. At the bottom, we have two columns for you to mount the ferret rings for your AM tuning coil. On the top, you can see the different terminals for the antenna. For FM, we have two terminals. For AM, we have three, including the ground, AM1 and AM2. Uh, for this radio, you can use different type of detector. It can be a MOSFET or it can be a diode or even crystal. I will show you how to use those pins to insert the right detector later on. For the AM, I included a band switch that allows you to tune to the low band of the AM spectrum or the high band. Sometimes the coil cannot cover both bands, especially the big loop coil. I put my 3D files up on Fingerest. I'll put in a link to my Fingerest page so you can download the 3D print files. Once you downloaded it, you will need to print the components one by one. First one is the main part of the chassis, so you print it like this way. It will take you about 10 hours to print it. I'm using the Ender 3 Pro to print it. The second component you need to print out is the front of the chassis. This is where you see all the logo and label and dial plates. Uh, I need to print it in this way to make the label clearer, otherwise it will be merged into a mess. Because it's done this way, we'll need to stick it back to the main part of the chassis. So you can use the super glue to connect them together and stick them together. So just put a bit of glue all around the original chassis and then press the front piece onto it and squeeze it hard together then you have a very good looking chassis. The holes in the middle will help you to align it properly. The next component is the handle, so it's just plain it flat on the surface like that. Next, you have the AM tuning knot. Then 
the FM tuning knob. So they are printed like that in that position. The last piece you need to print out is the back cover. So it will snap into the chassis and close it. I'm using this Ender 3 Pro to print it. I find that the uh, PLA material that you choose to use will determine the quality of your printout. So try to buy some better PLA material, otherwise um, the printout may not look good. I'll explain the circuit to you in the next video, number two. That's the end of the video. Please help me by supporting my channel. Click like, subscribe, share with your friends and leave a comment. See you next time. This is Billy C DIY.